So now we're going to proceed to the second floor of the New South Coast Station, up through the beer can. It's quite cold out here right now. And this is the very top. dining facility, which is probably closed for cleaning right now. As always as we eat, we have a very nice view of the actual South Pole marker right there. That's the Atmospheric Research Observatory in the distance. These tents out here, if you can see them, are tourists. They're not allowed to stay on station. They have to sleep in tents. And over here we have a ceremonial pole, mar pole marker, uh, which is not really the pole, but it's a nice thought. coffee, juice, the ubiquitous Frosty Boy ice cream, and our little bar area. The dishwashing area. Just another cargo deck and stairwell down here. This is the main kitchen entrance. Hey man, this is our clinic. We can't go in there, but fully functional emergency clinic. A photo wall depicting all of the South Pole winter over crews since 1956. If I were to winter down here, we would be up on the wall. As you can see, the photos get older. All the way back to the Navy days. I'm going to be quiet here, but this is the computer lab. Here we have Jeremy, one of our no, no, computer no, techs. Nothing. It's okay, Jeremy. Why are you up so late? Yes, I am. I'm doing a tour. This is Ben. He's uh, one of our most talented IT techs, and I'm sure he hates this. I'm going to film their office because it's like a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> it is like a pueblo, not a restaurant. There you go, a pueblo. It is authentic. Would you like some of these? Really? These have been generously given to us. They are delicious, and they are not not nutritious, nutritious <laughs> yeah. in the least. Thank you. I'll, I'll pass right now. As then. Yes. Have a good day. See you later, Ben. My coworkers are awesome. More winter rovers. Photos of the aurora taken this year, as a matter of fact, this winter. Here's the science lab. All kinds of experiments going on in here. We're not allowed to have radio equipment going because it interferes. So, moving on, here's the science lab entrance again. You can see some of our firefighting equipment on the wall over there. 
more photographs in Kitch. These are the administrative offices down that hallway. Hey Mark, how you doing? This is Mark. He works out at the Atmospheric Research uh, Building. He works for NOAA. Say hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. <laughs> so this is the exercise room, our veritable gym. People in here working out at all hours. Only two treadmills. But we do have a nice high-def television. Weight sets. That sort of thing. People will sit here and pedal and look longingly out the window. Pardon me. So let's sneak in on comms. Hello. I'm sneaking around. I'm giving a video tour to the folks back home. So. Oh, okay. This is the <coughs> comms office. From here you can see everything all the time, no matter what. <laughs> they, uh, they monitor all of our vital high-frequency and iridium communications as well as uh, all the flights coming and going from the South Pole. So these are the admin offices. That down at the end of the hall is the science lab. We poked our head in earlier. This is Kinko's. We call it Kinko's, officially. It's the printing, cutting, document service center. And that's pretty much the end of the second story, South Pole Station.